It's the Murphy's Law Podcast. Hey guys, it's great to see you on this Friday. We finished the first week of our novel and it has been quite a ride. Now we're just setting up next week. It's gonna just get crazy. So hopefully you're able to hold on to your seat as we continue reading The Outsiders. Your chapter three question, let's talk about the agenda. Agenda review. Pretty simple here. We're going to keep this podcast short because all you really need to do is turn in your characterization chart. And um, remember, it's just bullet points on the characteristic traits of the characters so far in the novel. And some of them you submitted into the chapter one questions. So some of those similar characteristics can transfer in. Um, Just make sure that you don't focus only specifically on physical characteristics. We want personality traits. So like um, my example was unpredictable, you know, or aggressive or quick tempered or, you know, like focus on personality traits, not just the fact that Dallas has high cheekbones, you know, or chiseled features or whatever. So make sure you're focused on personality traits and uh, that's all that's really required. And then make sure for your chapter three question, if you haven't responded to it already, you're going to want to make sure that you t- that you go back and you listen to that interview with our with our outsiders guest, Mr. Knodo, and you look at uh, some of the themes that we talked about. We talked about two specifically, and you can pretty easily connect those, especially in chapter three. So make sure you go back and you take a peek at that so that you can make that connection in your chapter three question. All right. And then to tease here, let's have a little bit of a teaser. Task teaser. <laughs> that is, that's my favorite sounder, by the way. Uh, so we're going to have a conversation in parlay, but the conversation, it's going to start next week and it's going to be about the book. All right. So you, we're going to be talking about the character development. We might be making some predictions. Same thing as a class discussion. No spoilers. So we're going to be having some conversations about the book, about the characters, motivations, and the developments that we see play out within the text. So we're going to read chapters 4, 5, 6, and 7 next week. We're going to have a parlay discussion, and we'll continue having uh, questions on the novel as we read. So just make sure that you keep keeping up, keep keeping up with the reading, and we can have, uh, hopefully we're able to have some conversations about the text a little bit in more detail next week let's finish with fun fact friday fun fact friday for fun fact friday this it's pretty simple what i'm going to have you do remember the novel is taking place in tulsa oklahoma in the 1960s what i would like you to do is try to find a 1960s reference in tulsa oklahoma so maybe it's a restaurant chain that existed then maybe it's a a brand of something maybe it's a popular hangout Maybe it's uh, I, it really anything from the 1960s Tulsa, Oklahoma will suffice. Uh, all you, uh, what I would not want you to do is copy and paste from the internet. You can you can research it, but then just put it into your own words on the internet. Something that we aren't familiar with today, but that did exist in the 1960s in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So go ahead and share that for your fun fact Friday. How about some word out Wednesday responses? Responsorama. We had a lot of great responses for Word All Wednesday related to this image. Um, a lot of people were able to identify the kick the bucket, put all your eggs in a basket, piece of cake. Those were probably the most popular ones. Time flies was another great one. Um, I really like how people see an image and then they pick out different different things from it. So, you know, uh, like Nicholas W. saw the nail in the head and he, he interpreted it as a screw loose. You know, which is another idiom, figure, speech that we have that we share. Or um, Gabriel saw the the earworm and he saw he saw it as in one ear, out the other. I like that one, too. Another phrase that we use a lot. So um, the spill the beans and and uh, Liam talked about the all the eggs in one basket and shared, like, don't count your chickens before they hatch, which is another great one. Um, and he said he also used the word hence, hence the basket of eggs. So uh, kudos to Liam for using the word hence. So a lot of great responses from a lot of people. Appreciate the, uh, all the responses. And from now, now 
Make sure you read, read through chapter three for next week and submit your characterization chart. And we'll see you on Monday. Catch you on the flippity flip. <laughs>